Kabunga y'all, Captain Beardo here. Today is another NECA review. This time it's Wave 2. Depending on how I feel about these water, I might have the Leatherhead come out before or Leatherhead come out after this. Either way, they'll probably I'll probably have a link up here as well as a link at the end of the video to this NECA Turtles in Time playlist last NECA playlist. But today, we got the next turtle in the group, so the third turtle in total, Raphael. I'm excited to open him up and add him to the display. So let's get him looked at. Here we have Raphael in his box. In the window box packaging, got Raphael. It says Raphael right there, tools in time. Same artwork as all the other boxes. Got his two sides, and you can see he's got some hands in there. There's the top. There's the bottom with all the fabulous people that worked on this. There's the side, same as the other ones, nothing different. There's that side. Nothing different. The back, it's the same as Leonardo's or Donatello's, except the characters are different, obviously, for this wave. But yeah, let's get this guy opened. So let's look at his hands first. He comes with a left pointer finger. Really cool. Just done that. Green, like green as you can tell. And just hinges up and down. Right there. Got another pointer finger. So I guess they made him the rude dude that always points at people. And then same, just hinges up and down. And so, comes with his dual side. Nicely painted, nicely sculpted. Just actually, yeah, he is painted because you can see he has a uh, darker silver going downward, lighter up top. Very cool it's on both. Very game accurate. And just like all the other turtles, he comes with his own board. This time, it's obviously going to be red in the green and got the cool deco on there the yellow got the jet goes with the stand so that way you can pose it all the way around and it pops off just snaps back on like so let's look at the rude or crude dude himself Raphael I actually absolutely love this sculpt Obviously, because they used him not just with Turtles in Time, but with the original arcade and the two, twice in the tune figures with a darker skin tone and a lighter skin tone. Which I personally like the darker one more, but I have the lighter one. Which there will be a hopefully a review here shortly. I'm trying to get all my reviews out there so that we have less boxes and less clutter. But here we are with Raphael. They did a really good job with the paint. Block off some of the light. But yeah. It's all digitalized. Nice red bandana. All the way around. I like it. I like the shadowing on these figures. They're so cool. You can get the smirk. Got the, there's the front. His feet with the red knee pads. Here's his arm with the red knee pads and you can kind of see more of the, like, the shadowing that they went with on both sides. There's his back. There's a shell. See there's even shadowing on the shell. Just like in the game. Which is really cool. I really like the, the style of the shell. Especially in the cartoon. It does have pickles at the bottom. So let's get into 
articulation. Then I'll pull his, pull, pose this guy for you guys. So his head is on a ball joint. So you can rock him all the way around. You can look right. You can look left. You can pivot a little bit. He also has a neck joint. That allows him to move forward, move back a little bit, and pivot a little bit more. And so with this, you can with both of them, you can have him look up that much. You can look it down that much. His arms go up that much. Down that much. He has a bicep swiv swivel. A single joint in the elbow. Like does go at 90 degrees. Swivel at the wrist. Hinge at the wrist. And obviously he is holding. He has the weapon holding hands right now. Attached. He has a joint right there underneath his shelf. So you can do some ab crunch. And ab crunch in the back a little bit. Show is a salter plastic. You can even kind of shimmy him a little bit like so. Which is really cool. He's got some nice split action. Like a real ninja. He's got some swivels in the thigh. Which is cool. He's got double jointed knees. They can have touch his butt. So that's excellent articulation right there. His angles can move down, move up, spin, and he does have a little bit of ankle pivot. I'm going to put him on his board with his weapons and here in just a sec. So here we are with Raphael nicely posed with his weapons. He is awesome. I personally go with the Turtles in Time figures just because of the board. Instead of getting them individually, plus I like the designs a little bit more with these Turtles in Time. Because they fit better with the Turtles in Time Shredder. Because the regular Shredder looks kind of bland to me, so. Yeah, that's why I get these guys. If you did like this video, please leave a like. Comment down below. Subscribe, ring that bell does really help out this channel. See you guys in the next video. Feel the beard. Deuces.